We, ran, we all ran to the door, and with our own hands, with our own strength. We opened that door. Our door to the future. A future of hope. And despair. Oh, this is... This is reminiscent. Oh god, it's red. That's not a good sign. Bad ends? I don't know. I didn't see any... Okay, well, that's not... <laughs> oh, my! What is this? What's... Going on. What is this? Uh, I can't breathe. Ah. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. I can't breathe. So even if we got to this point at the end, we wouldn't have been able to get through because we didn't have the electro hammers. Even if I like completed it earlier on. The door is now locked. Barely conscious. We heard a sound in our heads. What happened? Oh. <laughs> Congrats! You finished the killing game! Uh, uh, hey! Are you okay? Get it together! It wouldn't be funny if you died here, you know? See? Your lives are very precious to humanity. Huh? Uh, humanity. <laughs> well then, the fun starts now. It's finally time to reveal. Everything. I shook my head dizzy. The ground spun under me. But I managed to get to my feet. At the same time. So, we're not on the moon. We're not in space. Oh, hell of a theory. Okay, well, that's not as out there as I was expecting the twist to be, but. I'm not surprised in the slightest. Uh, what was that just now? What's going on on the other side of that door was... Damn. Well, where even are we? What in the world is going on? Hey, hey. Good morning, everyone. How are you guys feeling? Terrible. <laughs> of course you guys are, because you know the truth of the outside world now. Huh? The truth of the outside world? <laughs> you saw it right. The outside world you guys are so desperately longing for doesn't exist. What are you talking about? What do you mean, doesn't exist? Mm -hmm. oh, do you want to know? Then I'll tell you. I'm getting kind of bored of all the lying, so everything I say will be the truth now, okay? Okay. Everything began when that despair came falling from the sky. The meteorites. There was no way to avoid the numerous amount of meteorites raining down on Earth. The leaders of every nation realized that we could not escape the end of the world. Please, wait! Uh, hold on, the end of the world, what are you talking about? Hmm. Jeez, you better not interrupt again. I'm gonna, uh, I'm not gonna tell you everything. Got that. <laughs> but, um... Kiva, we should just listen to what he has to say. <laughs> <laughs> Continuing on where we left off. The leaders of every nation wanted to prevent the extinction of the human race. So they decided to implement a plan The Gopher Project, a plan to place talented humans in a spaceship in order to help them escape the world's end, so that they may find another planet where they can preserve humankind. And what? This is that spaceship? I see, I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest. The Gopher Project wasn't implemented to save the human race, but rather to salvage the human race. 16 young and talented high schoolers were chosen for the Gopher Project. All from Japan. These Adams and Eves of the New World were known as the ultimate students, but the 16 students refused to partake in this plan. Well, it's obvious why they wouldn't. 
surviving alone? Family and friends left behind to die? That's just hell right there. So then, the 16 students decided to flee from the project. They erased their memories to forget their ultimate talents. To become normal students. So just send other people. <laughs> but it was around that time a certain cult organization rose in power. Those who believed in the end of days were convinced humans deserved the meteorite's wrath. When they discovered the Gopher Project, they plotted to sabotage the plan. That's when the ultimate hunt began. The ultimate hunt affected all society. Those influenced by it searched for the 16 students. As a countermeasure, the organization responsible for the Gopher Project spread misinformation claiming that all 16 students had died. That was our memory of the funeral. With this, they were able to quell the ultimate hunt, shelter the 16 students, and carry out the Gopher Project. The Ark's launch succeeded, despite the meteorites and the destruction of Earth. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. The 16 Ultimate students were sent off into space as humanity's last survivors. That looked like a destroyed city out there, didn't it? But that didn't look like we were like on some alien planet. How exciting! <laughs> and that arc is the true identity of this academy. Huh? What? The Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles? is actually a gigantic spaceship colony. But how? This whole academy is one giant spaceship colony. Mm. What are you saying? Wh what? You really think I'll believe that? <laughs> oh, hold on now. The story isn't done yet. By the way, Don't you think it's strange? Why do you think the killing game happened on the Ark, Humanity's Last Hope? Which means... Actually, the organization behind the Gopher Project made one terrible oversight. Well, a horrible that's... person hiding among 16 chosen to be the last survivors of the human race. Huh? Six, wait, you said 16. Don't we have 15 in this? Wait, do we have... Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Shit. Uh, one... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. Well. Hmm. What? How okay, there was 16. Who's the leader of the cult uh, organization trying to cross the Gopher Project? And they hit among the last survivors of the human race and prepared a robot on that ship. Yeah. Yep, that robot is Monokuma. See? Originally, the 16 chosen students were placed in a state of cold sleep. They were only supposed to wake up once the ship found a suitable planet. The Monokuma manipulated the Ark and brought it back to the ruined Earth. Hmm. And once the 16 were supposed to wake up on a different planet, they rose from their sleep. You know? And now, here they are. Hold up! If we return to Earth, then that means... Yeah, okay. What you guys just saw... That's Earth now. W what did you say? That's Earth after a few hundred years, while we were in cold sleep. I don't know how much to trust him. I mean, I I don't know how much. I don't know. An Earth destroyed by meteorites, without oxygen or living creatures. Hell, I I, I believe that's what he believes happens. I believe he's thinking he's telling the truth. I believe that's even what we're perceiving in this world, but after all this stuff involving... Shit. After all this stuff and the ridiculousness and stuff, I'm, I'm not completely convinced that the world in front of us is... Real? Well, that also does beg the question, why are all the stars different? Is it because it's a fake uh, moon and stars? Because of the... Because, like, we see a clear sky. If it's like that outside, all that's going to have to be fake, right? It's not like the fog and stuff's going to die down at night. 
Probably just gonna be mostly pitch black when it's nighttime out there. An Earth without any cities or any people you knew. That is the truth of the outside world. Which means. There's no place for you bastards to go home to. That's why it's pointless for you to go outside. <laughs> the outside world doesn't exist anymore. What? Doesn't exist. How will I get my anime? Yeah. The Earth and humans have uh, died out ages ago, except for the last 16 survivors of humanity. Ah. Well, last seven survivors of humanity. It's a lie! That's a lie. It's definitely a lie. Man. I already told you I wouldn't lie anymore. I'm tired of lying, you know. So that uh, anyway, means... I gotta confess. You know the code I mentioned earlier? The leader is me. Huh? Huh? Anyway. Which means the mastermind who stuck into Monokuma onto the Ark is... <laughs> me. Really? But how? Because you're the mastermind. Well, you know. I didn't want to just crush the Gilbert project. I wanted to ruin it in the worst way possible. <laughs> so I came up with a plan. Let's have more fun. What could possibly be worse than the last 16 survivors of humanity killing each other? What? What? You. It's a lie! It's a lie! It's all gotta be a lie! Ah. Oh, you want me to lie now? You guys always told me not to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you the irrefutable evidence that I am the mastermind. Holy shit, he just seems so obvious for such a lot. He seemed like such a... I guess it's one of those cases where it's just like, he seems like such an obvious suspicious person that you're like, Nah, he can't be. That would be way too obvious. Fukichi took out what looked like a remote control out of his pocket and fiddled with it. And a minute later... Exosols! Holy, okay, great. What's going on? I thought only the Monocubs could control the Exosols. Actually, if you could control Monokuma, I believe you, but controlling Exosols is not what I'd imagine. Well, I'm different. Since I'm the mastermind, I control everything in this school. <laughs> as long as I have the master remote control, all Exosols move on my command. Then... So, you really are the mastermind. Don't tell me. You're always suspicious from the start, but... For you to be the mastermind. Oh man. You all look like you, you look like you don't believe me, Shuichi. I'm so disappointed in you. I even gave you such a huge hint, but you still didn't get it. How boring. I was waiting for you guys, uh, with so much anticipation to see what uh you guys would figure uh when you guys would figure it out. What hmm. is it? And I left that message for this. Maybe. I guess that precious hint went to waste. All because you bastard trusted each other. Huh? Huh? Hmm. I told you, you guys should have doubted each other more. You guys could have realized that was the mastermind earlier, then there could have been less victims. <laughs> Actually, Kaede led the uh, had the right idea to try to kill the mastermind at the start. <laughs> Too bad though. She only had killed me then. The killing game would have ended. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> this is the truth, uh, to a killing game. Well, it turned out not so boring, right? Not anyone could have organized a killing game with the last 16 survivors of humanity, you know. Damn it. Aren't you saying it's the truth? We were just being led around by you this whole time. You mad? Oh, you mad. Uh, so what? Are you, what are you gonna do about it? Shut up! Shut up! Of course I'm mad! Always messing around. I don't think you've won just because you got the exosols on your side. Because we got the electro hammers. What? what? What's happening? Wow. No, oh, typical Kaido. I guess things aren't just going your way. Lucky for me, you ran out of juice. What? The, the Electro Hammer. At that point, his Electro Hammer powered down, and not just Kaido's. Every Electro Hammer powered down at once. Well, you know. I told you, didn't I? Problem is that it runs out of battery pretty quickly. But... But that lasted uh, longer than I calculated, so I was actually starting to get a bit nervous. <laughs> Did you calculate that too? My bad. Sorry, Kaido. Your tiny brain is just too different from mine. Please don't. don't glare at me like that. Punching me won't stop anything either, you know. You can't resurrect the dead. You can't turn Earth back to normal. Right? Right. Always messing around. Even if that is the case. Don't screw I can't around. get over it if I don't punch you. Kaito. Kaito, wait. I tried to stop Kaito before, uh, stop Kaito before he ran off, but I couldn't grab him in time. Ah! <laughs> Jeez. Your stupidity can't be cured unless you feel a bit of pain first. Stop it! Stop! 
My scream was in vain. Before our very eyes, Kaido charged at the Exosol. And was smacked down. And he hung limply from the Exosol's hand like a rag doll. Kaito! Don't worry, he's not dead. But now you know, right? There's no use defying me, the mastermind. He keeps saying that. I almost feel as though he wants to be the mastermind, and he isn't. Oh. I am not convinced. I don't care how much he says he's telling the truth, I am not convinced. <laughs> These exosols were originally machines to protect us. They were built to shield us from any danger that might pop up on other planets. But now I think it's hilarious how much they've become a threat to you guys. Oh, Maki, 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 don't do anything stupid. If I know. Huh? Maki? Give it back. If I know back. Her eyes screaming murder, Maki Lara Kukichi moved towards him. Maki! No, Maki, even if you... Do you want to die? Let's go. Do you want to die? Uh, Maki! It's no use. I, I won't let go. Even if you kill me, I can't let go. Please, Maki. Shuichi! <laughs> nice job, Mr. Ultimate Detective. That was a wise call, Shuichi. But... Your talents is useless now. The mystery of the killing game, the secret of the outside world, the mastermind's identity. <laughs> You're all sound. You don't even need a detective anymore. This is the true ending. Uh... Ending... It's chapter 5, man. This isn't the ending. If this is the ending, then what are we supposed to do now? The world is destroyed and we're the last humans left, uh, ha left human beings left. What are we supposed to do from now on? How about doing anything you want? Yeah? I know I start this whole thing, but I'm bored now, so sorry about that, guys. So that's why I want to reveal the truth. I want to see utter despair in your faces. Yeah. Yeppers, totally satisfied now. So you guys are free to do whatever you want. Wait. Hold on. You were the one responsible for all this. That's so irresponsible. Yeah. You guys can commit suicide together or kill each other. Or you can just change your mind and stay here. You're welcome to do that too. Thanks to the school's barrier, there's plenty of oxygen. <laughs> it is the Gopher Project's Ark. It's supposed to be humanity's last hope. There is an inconsistency. So, why did everyone think that the Gopher Project failed? Hmm... Is it memories from the time we were running away from it? Hmm... Oh, but did you guys know? The sky on the other side of the barrier isn't real. That's just one of the Ark's functions. It's meant to help us forget we're on a spaceship. So that means... So, anyways, the killing game is over. You can do whatever you please now. Huh? I don't know what to do. Oh. You bastard. What are you planning to do with Kaido? Ah. Oh, I just wanted to chill out for a bit. Hot-blooded idiots like him are trouble. They do whatever they want without thinking about the consequences. If it's just him, I can deal. But if he gets all of you involved, then that's totally a hassle. Also, the killing game might start up again if I let him run around. So that means... Anyway, Shuichi, can I have the Exosol Hangers alarm remote back? Huh? What? See? I was thinking it'd be a perfect place to keep Kaido in. Stop it. Don't give it to him, Shuichi. Shuichi! Hand it over, Shuichi. You bastard. Don't give it to him. Well, you know. Now what'll happen if you don't hand it over, right? Okay, rocking a hard place. This school is mine! I am the king! I, Kokichi Oma, am the mastermind and king of the ultimate academy for gifted juveniles! Yes! This world is mine! Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Maki. I couldn't meet Maki's eyes. I gave Kukichi the, uh, what he wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Kukichi's evil yet instant smile stayed on his face as he took the key. 
And then he simply left. He solved the entire mystery for us and left. He left us there with the truth, the truth of our despair. Well then, I, I'm sorry, uh, um, Aki. <sighs> Howard. Uh, okay. I know. But I just don't have the strength. I can't fight back. I can't do it. Uh, um, Smiggy, are you okay? She got a thousand yards there. It's no use talking to her right now. Uh, are you okay? Here we go. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm okay. Uh, I'm okay. Outside the world, everything's destroyed. Everyone's dead. Yeah. Everyone at school, everyone in the neighborhood, they're all dead. Uh, um, Calm down, Emiko. Uh, uh, what am I supposed to do now? There's no point in living anymore. Which means... Elson Academy is a spaceship and we're the 16 survivors of humanity. I gotta know, some of these decisions for ultimates are really confusing. For what this is. I can sort of imagine some of them. There's also the question as to what was Ranta Rosa role in all this. Assassin. Why would they have an assassin? Magic. Why would he have magic? Cosplayer. Why do we have cosplayer? I can sort of, like, maybe, like, bring you along culture? Like, 16 talented children, teenagers, send them on this thing. I, I sort of get that, but wouldn't you have ultimate talents specific to, um, starting a new civilization? People with the talents to do that? Like, robots. How are you supposed to preserve humanity by sending a robot with us? It just seems so... Yeah. The Ultimate Academy is a spaceship, and we're 16 survivors of humanity. This killing game we've been playing, why pit the remnants of humanity against each other for a world that no longer exists? <laughs> and the mastermind who engineered all this is forcing us to participate is, and is, uh, is Kokichi. Oh, oh no! Oh, I can't! My mind feels like it's about to short circuit! Me too. All truth was revealed. The conclusion. This is the end. There's no outside world. We're the only humans left alive. Trying to get outside was pointless and we played the killing game for it. It's all meaningless. That is the conclusion. Uh, nonsense. Why did, the other, why did all the others die for then? <laughs> so this is the spare that Gauntha felt. So much despair that you want to die. It really is just like that. If it's like that, then we would have been better if I died a lot earlier. <laughs> and it's all over now. That's true. This is the end of everything. Our story ends here. Are we more, no more death. No more killing games. It's all pointless. The truth is... We all should have died. A long time ago. Or some memories that definitely line up with his explanation. Like the memory of, what was it, I want to die with everyone else? Does that sound familiar? I don't even remember how I got back to my room. Why does the killing game go down to two? So that's never been explained. It's never been acknowledged. What's well, Ronto? There's still so many questions left unanswered. And how much of this can we trust, too? There's some inconsistencies, but a lot of things go together. Before I knew it, I felt my body in the, uh, my bed, numb. I didn't want to sleep. I just wanted to run away from the spare. The sleep came anyways. <laughs> Perfect, thank you, timing. Did you know that when you talk to someone on cell phone, you're not hearing the real voice? The voice converts to the uh, synthetic sound while you're both communicating. By breaking down the voice into various waveform patterns, the phone reassembles the patterns to recreate the characteristics of the speaker's voice. This reduces the amount of voice data that needs to be sent to make the calls possible. 
Also, did you know that shaved ice's flavored syrups is such as a strawberry, melon, and lemon? They're all the same flavor. The only difference is the aroma and the food coloring dye. Do you know these facts are uh, are all lies? Do you deny these are facts are that these facts are lies? <laughs> Who uh, what would the world be like if uh, all lies were denied outright? I bet if it was a, it would be a very lonesome world. Lies are what make the world go round. I know this voice thing is uh. So is is what he's saying is partly the truth, but Kokichi's spreading a little bit of lies and the truth in order to get them through, in order to get the conclusion he wants. Huh. Is this the more interesting thing that Kokichi wanted? He promised for Monokuma. Because he did go meet him. It's not like he was... He went to negotiate. We saw that scene. I don't believe he's the mastermind. I believe he wants us to think he's the mastermind, because that's probably the easy... Now that he's control of the Exosols, it's probably the easiest way to keep us under control. Monokuma must not be here anymore. There's no point in morning announcements anymore. So it really is over. There's no point in this killing game anymore. Because there's no reason to go outside. There's no reason to keep living. There's no reason to live. 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 This is an epilogue. All that's left is to take up time. What a boring story. There's nothing I can do anymore. <laughs> what an I mean, there's no way this is the ending. I wonder what everyone else is doing. Oh, is it nighttime already? Damn. I wonder what Kaido's doing. Uh, okay. Um, well, that's right. I wonder if Kaido's okay. Is he? It's no use. My mind isn't working in my body. Damn. Okay. If you're searching for the meaning in life, you're doing it all wrong. Uh, your life doesn't need a meaning. It just needs a purpose. In other words, you just need to, something to live for. If you live uh, spending time with loved ones or chasing dreams, you can live for eating delicious food or playing games. Most people can get by as long as they have something to live for. If you say uh, dying rope is your reason to live, I could be happier. <laughs> it's been a real pleasure doing business with you. That would be one hell of a way to end this. That would be one hell of an ending if it was this anticlimactic and, like, bad of an ending. Well, I'm not saying bad, but, like, bad ending versus good ending, like, positive, negative, uh, in terms of just, like, yeah. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and say still, there's no way. It's morning. How long have I been like this? I should get up. Or I might not ever get up again. I should eat food. I don't care if I just kill myself. Huh? What? My body reacted reflexively as I heard the doorbell. Ah. Oh. So I'm surprised that I even managed to get out of bed. I went to the door. Uh, um... Be. Hard to imagine anyone other than Maggie. On my feet for the first time in a long while. I walked uneasily to the door. I slowly opened it and. You look terrible. Uh, um... Maki? Oh, yeah, I do. Hey. It was like a shower or something. Anything to help your face. I'll be in the dining hall with everyone else. Huh? Everyone. Okay. I'll be waiting, so hurry up. But I don't... Are you saying you don't like my face, Maki? Maki spoke curtly and left. Everyone is waiting in the dining hall. Uh, um... Yes, I should go. I hurried and took a hot shower and then left, uh, left my room. Oh boy. Monokuma and them were also making the ultimate labs. What was the point of that? Hmm. Everyone was in the dining hall, besides Kokichi and Kaido. But mentally, they weren't really there. Life had gone out of their eyes. Everyone. Everyone here looks terrible. Really? Even I look terrible. Oh, your face always looks like that. What are we talking about? Discussing how we want to die, right? 
Huh? What? Uh. I'm gonna go without suffering. Maki, can you do something uh, about that? Okay. Sure, but before that, take a look at this. Oh. Is that a flashback light? Huh. I think we'll find something that contradicts Gorigi. Um, Maki, why do you have that? I see. I was on top of the table when I went to the dining hall this morning. Huh? It was just sitting there. Kokichi seems to have what he wants, so I doubt he'd go out of his way to do something even more. Unless he's just fucking with us and push, trying to push us over the edge even more. Uh, Kokichi probably just put it there. Well then. To confirm the truth, perhaps. We use that flashback light. He may recover memories that corroborate his story. Uh, uh, we're supposed to use the flashback light to confirm the truth Kokichi told us. <gasps> we don't need to confirm anything, and we saw the outside world for ourselves. Hey. Do you want to die comfortably? I can help you, but... You should check this flashback of light out first. Huh? What? Uh. I do feel as though there has to be a contradiction somewhere. It feels like there's little ones, potentially explainable ones, that if we got more info could be explained. But there's still contradictions standing. Because... This isn't the only thing we can do right now. Uh, this is the only thing we can do right now. If we're going to die, we might as well do anything we can. We'll have no regrets that way. That's right. And even if it is dangerous, it wouldn't matter anymore, right? Either way, there's nothing for us to lose. We don't have any hope left. Well... So, let's do what we can. <sighs> well, okay. Things won't end up any worse than they already are. Uh... When you kill me, will it be like I'm falling asleep? It's decided. Then it's decided. Kibo, Shuichi, are you fine with that? <sighs> yeah, very well then. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Unless it was decided. Fairly painlessly. Flashback light suddenly appeared. Nothing could be more obvious and suspicious. But because our spirits were already broken, we had nothing to lose anyways. So if Kokichi managed to, like, his own personal rebellion using the exosols and stuff, maybe Monokuma left it there to uh, cause contradiction and cause us to actually doubt him. Okay, I'm going to turn it on. Hmm. Maki switched on the flashback light. And at that moment... The world flipped upside down. Turn inside out. And... Did I see Hope Speak Academy in that one? Has that... Hope's... That... That's it. I remember. Everything is connected. And we had forgotten. We would forgotten that everything is connected. It all started at that academy. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. A government back uh, school that nurtured the most talented students in various subjects. Hope's Pink Academy. An event that tore the school, uh, school apart changed the world. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human... Okay, okay, apparently... Okay, 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 okay. Uh, for anyone who has, um... Not played or watched the first two games. I'm feeling as though this is going to be connected now. Because this is referencing the first game right now. And it's probably going to end up referencing the second game. Instead of just Easter eggs. So if you haven't played those and if you don't know the story, I'm going to warn you right now. I get a feeling that this is... It's saying everything is connected and immediately went to Hope Speak Academy. Which sort of implies that this isn't actually a soft reboot. Or maybe it's software. I, I, I don't know. But still, 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 still. I'm not entirely sure because they've never set out right in... Okay. Well, all I'm saying is right now I'm getting the feeling that this is going to spoil shit. And if you're okay with being spoiled on the previous stuff and you haven't played, fine. Whatever. But here is already a spoiler for the first game. The biggest, most awful, and most tragic event in the human history. Uh, that triggered a wave of terrorism and war across the world. Humanity's true despair. Okay, uh, I'm stalling a little bit because if you want to click off now, click off now. I, <laughs> I wouldn't want this spoiled for me. These are games I never would want spoiled for me, basically. Half the world is destroyed by results of a terrible violence. And that tragedy was caused by a single high school girl. The ultimate despair, Junko Inoshima. She used whatever means necessary to paint the world in despair. Okay. And the killing game of the 78th uh, class of Hope Speaks Academy was the same way. 
trapped by the ultimate despair, forced into the uh, forced into a killing game. But after Jun uh, Junko and Ashima dying, the case was closed and the world began to slowly recover. Is this actually a prophecy? But Junko's disciples, the remnants of despair, weren't done so in chaos. The future foundation fought against them, trying to restore order. The war between hope and despair grew more and more extreme. The fight raged on became to a sudden end. And right then, it was from then on that we remembered. That's the beginning of our truth. One day, terrible despair suddenly rained from the sky. A countless number of meteorites fell upon the world, carrying an unknown virus. What? This is extremely different. Emboldened by overwhelming distorah, the remnants cried, Humanity deserves damnation. The Future Foundation was overwhelmed by the renewed, despair and quickly lost influence. But then... Makona Yegi, together with the former members of the Future Foundation, started the Gopher Project at Hope Speak, Ac uh, Hope Speak Academy. Only genies can overcome nature, and only hope can overcome despair. Our young geniuses must escape the Earth to become seeds of the future. That's the only hope for humanity. With these principles, the Gopher Project began. The 16 Hope Speaks uh, students were selected. We were those 16 students. That's it. We were on all attending different high schools. We were all attending the Rebuild Hope Speak Academy. I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, we are in. Uh, we are the students that applied after learning Hope Speak was rebuilt, and the new Hope Speak was like the last in that. We accepted applications for talented students and cultivated ultimate talents. Hope Speak Academy was a large school, so we were all in separate classes. And we are all students of Hope Speak Academy. From uh, the candidates, 16 of us were selected for the Gopher Project because... No, we weren't selected. We were the only ones left. The mysterious vibes from the meteorites had spread rapidly around the world. Huh. The entire world was on the brink of extinction. Hope came... Hope and almost triumph. But cruel despair came roaring back to overtake the world. <laughs> but we just happened to be immune to the virus. So what about Dragon Rapper 3? What about Dragon Rapper 2? All the fucking shit that went down in there, was that all pointless? Oh my goodness! Oh, uh, but we just happened to be immune to the virus. That's the reason why we were chosen for the, uh, for the Gopher Project. I finally remembered. That world, this world, it's all connected. That's it. Everyone, did you all remember? Yes. Yes, I can vividly recall everything now. I guess. Yeah, why? How could we forget something so important? Okay. Okay, well, I'm not really sure how I feel about this. All this time, acting like it wasn't a sequel, it's now a sequel, okay. Uh, and it's sort of, if oh, it almost feels like it's throwing out the, uh, relevance of some of everything except, like, a lot of the other stuff. Uh, ha, <laughs> ha, yeah. We are students of Hope Speak Academy. Mm. We are the symbols of hopes and trust of the survival of humanity. And is this true, too? I, I don't know, because these flashback lights could be just giving us false memories, too. God, I don't know what to fucking trust! God, fuck! Okay. <sighs> hmm. Except for one person? That punk. Yoma, the mastermind behind this killing game, his organization's real identity. Oh, was he head of the remnants of despair again? We're the remnants of despair. That's right. The cult organization out to destroy the Gopher Project. If Kokichi is the leader, that means he controls the remnants of despair. Out of all of us, he is the closest to the ultimate despair. Hmm. So obvious. A killing game like this can only be done by the remnants of despair. Shit, my... Oh. I don't really know what to trust. For now, I'm going to trust that everyone's believing the right thing. It's like believing the truth and everyone's telling the truth to some extent. If 
but I don't... I don't know, something just still feels off. of Hope's Peak Academy. It's all just like Junko and Oshima's killing game. Only someone who worships the ultimate despair would replicate that killing game. Which means... Which means that this killing game is just like the one that came before. It's a battle between hope and despair. Killing game that mires hope in dark despair. Got a minute? Wait, hold on. If this is such an important killing game, then why did Kyokichi abandon it? Uh... There's also something about the uh, remnants of despair. That's also something the remnants of despair would do. They admire Junko and Oshima, right? He made an elaborate plan to cause us to despair, but he got bored of that plan. Oh, uh, jeez. Honey, I feel the despair of your plan being ruined. That's the ultimate despair for you. Hey! What's wrong, Maki? So what? Nothing, I'm just not convinced. It's okay. It's probably fine, though. It's not a big deal. Yeah, okay. everything does feel a little off still. This is also still fucking chapter 5! Are you sure? What? We finally learned the truth, so we can still, uh, but we still can't do anything. Almost really, this really is the last chapter. Maybe that's another twist. There's only five chapters instead of six, like normal. Oh my. Even if we get out of this academy, the outside world is still destroyed. There's no hope left for us. Everyone. No, we just need to become the hope. What's wrong? Huh? What's with you all of a sudden? If I must. All hope is lost. It's up to us to become that hope. Okay, and things that don't make sense. The fact that Kokichi thinks the Exosols were proof of him being the mastermind. The whole discussion about bringing people back to life. That's another one. This like this connection to ever. I am not convinced. I am not convinced. Something still feels really off. I'm, I'm with Maki here. If all hope is lost, it's, also, it's up to us to become that hope. After all, we're students of Hope's Peak Academy, aren't we? We're all that's left behind of the 16 who survived the battle between hope and despair. Hmm. Listen closely. We give up now. Everyone who fought on the side of hope will have fought for nothing. That's true. Fought for nothing. I heard it. That's why. My, that's what my inner voice is telling me. Yeah, you keep mentioning that. I think there ha there's gotta be something behind that. No matter what, I cannot abandon hope. I cannot give up. That's what it's urging me to do. Leave it to me. No, I so I will not despair. Even if it's only a little, I will move forward with hope. Uh, okay. Hebo. Listen closely. Right now, there's no use thinking about whether uh, whether our lives have meaning or not. Because as long as we're alive, we still have the power to decide that meaning for ourselves. That's what I believe hope is. I see. Uh, that's what hope is. I see. Yeah, you're right. For students of the new Hope Speak Academy, rebuilt a symbol of hope. Yeah. If we, the students of Hope Speak, give up, the world really will be plunged in despair, because that's really all that's left of the world. You're right. I got it. In the end, it's all about willpower. I'm going to live to the end and never give up. Mm -hmm. We'll be able to do anything in that destroyed world. Great, huh? But making the impossible possible is what magic is all about. Mm. It's a vain. It will be worth it. I'll live. I'll live to 100 million more years. You guys. You're right. You're right. Let's do this. All right. Let's fight together against despair. Yes. Yes. As long as we stand together, without uh, giving into despair, we will find a new hope. We all stood in unison. We felt each other. Uh, we each felt the power of hope coursing through us, driving our bodies. Hope born in this academy, a tree of life with the roots deep down, supporting each and every one of us. Yeah. yeah. Motivation is rushing through my body. Yeah. <laughs> this is the power of hope. Uh, well, laugh like that, you sound less like a mage, more like a wicked witch. <laughs> Yuji may have left that flashback life to make us uh, give up. But if that was his plan, it failed. It's true. It does seem as though Kukichi's plan went wrong somewhere. Yeah, I still don't think he did that. The only person who can give us a flashback life is Kukichi. If we believe he's the mastermind. Hey! Uh, so, what's our plan now? What are we going to do about Kukichi? That's right. We gotta stop you know who, the remnant of despair, or despair will never end. Okay. We have to. Save Kaido too. You're right! Yeah, of course. You're right. So stupidly positive. You're just the kind of guy we need at a time like this. That's right. With Kaido by our side encouraging us, then even if we are the only people left, I think we can still find a new hope. Yeah, that's exactly right. I knew that, even in a situation like this. I think it's something. Uh... The problem is, where are Kokichi and Kaido? 
It's okay. They're in the Exosol hangar. Huh? Both of them. Kokichi did say that uh, Kaido would be trapped in there, but... Okay. By chance, I happened to see Kokichi leaving uh, the hangar during nighttime yesterday. What? By chance, really? Right, right. I bet the truth is that uh, you were worried about Kaido and were there watching the hangar all day. In before Kokichi is just like playing this as a ruse and Kaido's really the mastermind, he's like torturing him to get the info out of him. Hmm. Ah ha ha ha, no, damn it, Maki! Looks like that was the case. So what? It's not like I was worried about Kaido or anything, I just had nothing else to do. Also, I'm used to watching others, so it wasn't any trouble. It's important for assassins to watch their targets and think of ways to kill the. Stop it! Stop, stop it! You're just getting mushy, but you had to make it all bloody instead. 100%. We know they're in the Exosol hangar, but how do we get them out? By the way, hangar? Has an alarm system that will go off anyone who purchases the shutter. On top of that, Kokichi used the alarm remote key to shut off the alarm system. Uh, and if there's any, uh, there's also an electric barrier, right? You need to do something about that, too. Yes. Yes, but even approaching the control panel will set off the alarm, too. Uh, yeah, so many problems right from the start. What should we do? It's okay. It'll be fine. I think I know how to stop the alarm system and the electric barrier. Does she have an idea? I mean,. The um, electric hammer should have recharged by now, right? So we should be okay on that, right? What do you What do you think? Uh, so how do you find to get past the alarm system and the barrier? Okay. With the electro hammer. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Well. If you hit the control panel with it, it should disable the electric barrier. We do the same thing to the electronic lock and the exit to the outside world. Yep. But. But it won't work the same way as the alarm system. Uh, with the alarm system, will it? The alarm will go off before we can even get close enough to use the electro hammer. That's true. Then we'll use this. Oh, you got one of them. Ah, uh, is that? You found one. <laughs> it's not exactly a bomb. X electro bomb. Jams that. Only has three of them. Et cetera, et cetera. Actually, he has some. 50 yards will be completely disabled. Okay. Why do you have that, Maki? There are only three, and I thought Kokichi had them. <laughs> I stole them from his pocket. Nice. Okay. Nice. During that time... Nice! Do you have all three? Yeah. As expected, your kleptomania and terrifying glare are both first class. <laughs> the terrifying glare park was a joke. Can you stop glaring at me so terrifyingly? Thank you very much. Nice work, Maki. We can use Electro Bomb to get inside the hangar. No. Not only that, we've been disabled all communication. Okay. That should include the remote control cookies you use for those exosols. 100%. If we use the electro, uh, electro bomb in front of the shutter, it should affect the entire hangar. <laughs> the cookies will be exited as butt naked. <laughs> all we have to do is hold his crotch and run. No. He might still be able to control an exosol from inside, though. Oh, butt naked? No. No, I'm pretty sure he'll be clothed. Well, unless this game really wants to go there. I see. Then we should bring the ele uh, electro hammers as precaution against the exosols. Mm -hmm. Oh, dang. I just left mine sitting around without charging it. Sorry. Ah, sorry, but I did too. Hmm. It takes 24 hours to charge an electro hammer, so we'll have to wait until tomorrow morning. Huh? Uh, we're going to have to wait till tomorrow morning. What about the hangar? Uh... Um, we don't really have a choice. No, without the electro hammers, it's impossible. Remember. Maki, I know that you don't want to waste a single minute more than necessary, but we shouldn't try this until tomorrow, when everyone is ready. That's true. Fine. That's how we'll do then. Uh, that's what we'll do then. This time we'll definitely kill him. Kill? Wait! No, Maki, you can't. Even if he's a remnant of despair, that doesn't... That punk. If we kill him, then everything will end. We have no other choice. For that reason, I will kill him. No. No, but you can't. You're right. I understand how you feel, Maki. But we feel bad out, uh, after we killed him. Don't! It will be no different than the killing game. Uh, that's caused so much suffering. Yeah. Yeah, that's the sort of thing the remnants of the Sparrow Kira would do. Okay. But Kaido said that killing is wrong, remember? I knew it. So we can't, right? Okay. Fine. Okay. If everyone thinks that way, then I'll listen to you guys. Well. <laughs> Have to convince someone out of killing someone, damn. But it seems like uh, but if it seems like anything dangerous is going to happen, I'll definitely kill him. Oh, oh Maki's actually reliable. No. No, she's dangerous. There's nothing more dangerous than the heated Maki roll. If a Maki Rail gets too heated, you should you could uh, burn your tongue. 
Did you see those eyes? They're like a predator looking at its prey. Well. Ah, you may have deserved that even again. <laughs> that, it's true that this is quite unexpected. I didn't think we'd be able to stay together like this one again, uh, as one again. And it's thanks to Magi. Why are we sedentary? Feeling sorry for ourselves, she was planning. I suppose it might also be thanks to Kaido. Because Kaido was worried about her. She promised to work hard to do her best. Ah, uh, of course, if I pointed that out, she'd ask me if I wanted to die again. Got a minute? What are you looking at? Sorry. Ah, uh, no, sorry. Hey. Let's do our best, three of us. We, uh, then the three of us can train together again. Uh, okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> we found out our plan to get in the Exosol Hangar tomorrow morning. Until then, we would wait for the Electro Hammers to recharge and finish preparations. We split up, focus, and determine. Alright! Okay. First, we need to charge the Electro Hammer. But I shouldn't just stand around waiting. I need to make it for that lost time. There has to be something I can do. Nice job, Mr. Ultimate Detective. That was a wise call, Shuichi. Ah, uh, but your talent is useless now. Let's do the killing game, a secret of the outside world, the mastermind's identity. Yes, uh, we don't need a detective anymore. This is the true ending. Hmm. No, that's not true. There has to be something I can do. All right. right, I just got the area. It'd be a good idea to check out the scene before we execute the plan. And I'm worried about Kaido. Yeah, I'm gonna run into Maki doing the same thing. He's hurt, and he's sick. Hmm. I'm sure he doesn't want me to worry about him, but... You know, I sort of have to. Uh, okay. All right. Now go. Okay, I guess it's time to go. Oh, hey, Hiva. Shuichi. Oh, Shuichi. Um, we must rescue Kaido no matter what. If we uh, if we're to defeat despair and find a, re uh, a new hope for ourselves, I'm certain we'll meet, uh, need him by our side. Okay. Yeah, you're right. It's nice to Kaido that we're able. To, uh, we're all working together again. All right. Let's save Kaido and Sakura Kichi together. It's the beginning of our new hope. Okay. I still have a bad, nagging feeling, but okay. Yeah, yeah I've got so much motivation now. Yeah, wait till the Electro Hammer recharges. Well. Calm down, here we go. If you spend all your energy now, you won't have any when you really need it. Yeah. Uh, I see, that's true. But uh, who would have imagined that we're the last hope of humanity and this was a spaceship? I don't wanna. I, <laughs> I got the spaceship part, man. And I sort of got the Adam and Eve thing going on, too. I'm not sure why it goes down to two, though. That's the bigger question. Really. Hmm. Why would it go down to two? There are changes. There are significant differences in this killing game. It's the other one. And they're not explained by anything so far. That's not right. Are they really gonna throw away the whole magic theme just like that? Uh, um. um, was there a magic theme in the first place? Hmm. Well, there was certainly a fantastical element to it that seemed unreasonable. Unreasonably unlikely to be a real thing. Could it be? Did you come out of your room because you couldn't calm down? Okay. Uh, yeah. I guess. No, it's the same. I couldn't stay still. Um, this morning, I barely had the willpower to get out of bed. It's all thanks to Maki. Yeah. I can hardly believe it. Maki's uh, was so soon to Ray at the beginning. And now, uh, is the one pulling us along. Um, that's probably because of Kaido's influence. Huh? Hmm? Why do you think that? Um, uh, why? He can tell just by looking. Maki's interested in Kaido. No! Don't point it out to me! I can't accept this. Otherwise, she wouldn't be watching the hangar the whole time like she is. Uh, okay. Ah, yeah, I suppose that's true. Huh? Hmm? Are you shocked? Are you guys in some reverse love triangle situation? Uh, no, 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 it's not like that. Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to shock you, but <laughs> I just meant to mock you about Magi. I wonder. When we were at Speak Academy, did we have fun and tease each other like this? Okay. Well, we were in different classes, but I'm sure we had friends like that. But... Even if we can't go uh, back to that time, there's still hope left in the world. We have to keep living in confidence till the end. That's my vow as one of the last students at Hope Speak Academy. Shit, man. Man, I gotta be honest, the whole virus and... The virus thing was sort of just like out of nowhere, uh, too. Hmm. Meteors, virus. Actually, doesn't the outside world seem... 
Actually, doesn't the outside world we're seeing seem inconsistent with those host speaks memories? The meteorites fell. They unleashed a virus. But why is the world in a state that we can't even breathe? The implication was the meteorites came down, destroyed the entire world, left it with, like, an atmosphere you couldn't really breathe in. But, like, what we saw and all that seemed to imply that... It seemed to imply that, um, outside, with the virus and stuff, that it wasn't like that at all. That's the thing, right? There are too many inconsistencies. This doesn't sit right. I, I don't have an explanation for those inconsistencies at the moment, other than people are lying. Uh, if you keep going, keep using the hangar. Uh, there's a good chance the exiles are patrolling nearby. I should be careful. Oh. So I should run. I should keep track of my minimap too. Oh my, okay. They are. Huh? 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 Monokuma? This is the first time I've seen him in a while. Are the Exosols protecting him? Or are they keeping him hostage? But why now? Why all four of them? He's just controlling them, right? But so why would he do that? Wait, if the Exos are here, they are guarding the hangar. This is my chance. I should hurry. Be carefully. I don't draw attention. No, I'm, I don't think that... I don't think they're protecting him. That wouldn't make sense, now would it? Hmm. I wonder if this is, like, legitimately a, a coup that... Kukichi did and has been lying out his teeth in order to gain control of everything. The alarm is enabled. The electric barrier is up too. I can't get close to the shutter. And I only saw four exiles, so I don't know where the other one is. Ah, I suppose there was five. I forgot about that. Perhaps inside the hangar. Hmm. Hopefully I can find a good spot to survey the scene. If I remember correctly, there's a bathroom with a small window there. Uh, oh... Huh. Something I can't reach through. Maybe oh. something I can see through. Ah, uh, there's a window. The bathroom window. I can see inside from there. I peeked into the small window. And I saw silhouettes on the other side. Ah! Uh. What are you doing here? <laughs> Kaito! Oh, we should bring the flashback light so he can remember. So he can be up to details. Uh, uh at least up to, uh... Uh... Shit. Up, uh, 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 words, 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 words. Uh, up to the same story as us. Has the same story as us. Has the same knowledge as us. Don't shout, stupid. Kokichi will hear us. Uh, is he close by? No. I'm locked up in this bathroom, but Kokichi's just outside that door. It'll be bad news if he sees you here. He's got the Exosols with him. No, he has an Exosol with him. Yeah, that's true. Wait, so... What are you doing here? What am I doing here? Saving you, of course. What? By yourself? I wonder if he could actually fit through that, just looking at the size of his head and body. No, I'm just scouting the place. Tomorrow morning, we're all coming to rescue you. All of you? It was Maki's idea. Honestly, I, I had given up. We had all given up. But not Maki. She did everything she could to get you back. It's because she believes in you, Kaito. She knows that you would never give up, no matter how bad things got. Y yeah of course! I'm Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars! Ah, oh, God, give him a fucking inch and he goes a mile. Even if the world has ended and humanity has gone extinct, I can't give up! It'd be a crappy story if the hero gave up so easily. Yeah, that's right, Kaito. Don't you worry. I'll do something about all this. That's a promise. All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. Something I want to ask him. I don't care if he's acting overconfident or, or if he's actually overconfident or acting. I just want him to say, don't worry, we'll be okay. It's just... I'm happy you guys want to save me, but stay safe, okay? Getting close to an Exosol is dangerous, even if you've got an Electro Hammer. Got it. 
Uh, by the way, are you feeling okay? Apart from the injury, obviously. Who, me? Yeah, of course. That's nothing. Anyway, Kokichi should be back soon, so we better end our chat. Ah, okay, sure. And hey, Kaito, about what happened with Gonta. Shuichi, I leave the rest to you. What? While I'm gone, you gotta support everyone. Especially Maki Roll. She can be reckless sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think. You're an impressive detective, through and through. You might not only reach the truth, but something even beyond it. Huh? And don't forget, you're not alone. Don't try to do everything yourself. It's only gonna wear you out. When times are hard, you gotta rely on your friends. Rely on your friends. That's that's what I've been uh, that's what I've been neglecting. I believe in you, so I'm leaving the rest to you for now. You got it, Shuichi. Kaido. Thank you. Thank you for being my friend. Yes, I understand. All right, now get going before Kokichi comes back. You're right. See you tomorrow, Kaito. Hmm. Ever leaving? Uh, leaving Kaito with a smile, I returned to my room. Where was Maki? I was expecting her to be standing out here, scoping out the place herself. Hmm. hmm. Well, there's no point in wandering around. I just stay in my room and relax. I try to get myself in the right mindset for the final battle. Well, I was med uh, meditating on it. <sighs> it became nighttime before I knew it. Yeah, Monica must. Uh, um... We go with Dawn. I won't hesitate anymore. Kind of stop me. All right. I have to do it. To live. To find a reason. To live. I will fight. I spent that night with that thought that's deep into my heart. Don't panic. Just stay calm and listen. Well, if you're watching this Monokuma theater segment, it's already too late. Kids might not know, but to a 100% cotton mascot like me, hope is, well, I uh, thought a few young people just brimming with hope killing each other just to survive. Watching their hope fade away, there's nothing more uh, despair inducing than that. My dear students, carrying humanity's hope, betraying, deceiving, and killing each other. It makes me oh so sad. Oh, how I long to see everyone's despairing faces soaked in blood and tears. I've gone and done it. Huh. I feel as though those are holding more meaning, but I'm not exactly sure what they're... Yeah. At, least are, at least these are short now. <laughs> After that empty announcement for Monokuma, I jumped out of bed. All right. All right. Here we go. First to the dining hall. I grabbed the electro hammer and ran out of my room. I'm glad we have actual chargers for it. <laughs> I was almost thinking, like, uh, as soon as they ran out, he's just going to be like, I have all the chargers. Ha, 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 Okay. And everyone's here. Yeah, yeah we're all here. Everyone. Is everyone ready? Yeah. Of course, my electro hammer's all charged. That moment I realized one of us didn't have their electro hammer. Hmm. Maggie, where's your electro hammer? Nope. I don't need it. I'd rather not use a weapon I'm unfamiliar with. Okay. This is much better. Uh, a um, knife? Well, I suppose you know best. Hey! Then we're off. Hey! Uh before that, there's something I want to say. I scouted the hangar yesterday. Huh? I scouted out the hangar. Uh, okay. Yes, I discovered that Kaido was trapped in the hangar's bathroom. I see. The bathroom, I see. Certainly, it's the best place to lock someone up. If I remember and I also right. saw. Yeah. Hmm. Monokuma by the hangar, being protected by four exosols. Is that alright? So, we have to be careful that we are not spotted. <gasps> oh, I saw that too. Uh -huh. You saw that? We're at the hangar then, too, Kibo. Yes. Yes, I thought I could get through the. Uh, to the Kokichi before we carry out the plan. So, I went to the hangar last night and tried to talk to him. What? You tried to talk to him on your own. Well. I'm sorry, I thought it would be preferable for him to release Kaido peacefully. Hey! How did it go? As I thought. 
It went about as well as expected. There's no response at all. But, but I did witness a few things. Yeah? What? What did you witness? Well, we can discuss that later. For now, I'll share what uh, I saw that's relevant to our plan. For now, Shuichi saw four exosols that appeared to, uh, to be guarding Monokuma. I saw one of them enter the hangar. No. Just one. Yes. Yes, the green exosol. If I remember okay. correctly, the green one. I'm sure I saw that one guarding Monokuma. I. I made sure to stay out of sight while I watched. Neither the alarm system nor the electric barrier reacted to the exosol's presence. Could it be? Does that mean the alarm system and the electric barrier don't work on the exosols? That's right. Considering it's where the exosols are stored, that would appear to be a safe assumption. Hmm. Anyway, there are two exosols in the hangar, and we should be careful. We only have one chance. Okay. Since it's our only electro bomb, we can't afford to miss. You're right. And it's exactly right. Hmm. Well then, okay. Well then, we're off for real this time. Everyone. Let's go. We must end this killing game once and for all, no matter what. Oh, this is not going to go the way you think. Energize and motivate the group rush out of the dining hall, one after the other. All right. All right. Here I go. My legs are shaking a little bit. Uh, or oh, you actually have to run over there. Uh, can I just <laughs> quick travel over there? I mean, come on. I can. Woo! Everyone must have already uh, must have gone to the hangar already. I shouldn't be late. Why would we not go as a goddamn oh whoops goddamn group? Are we idiots? Might be idiots. Uh, hmm. and no Monokuma, huh? Monokuma's not here. He should have been protected by the Exosols. And the Exosols? They don't look like they're going to move. What's going on? Oh, if Kokichi is dead. And there are only three of them. There should be two more in the hangar. That's true. And just like you said, we should consider ourselves lucky that there's only two. If all five of them are there, it'd be impossible to execute the all plan. Alright, all right, let's keep moving. Uh, okay, Monokim is not there. I still think he was being, uh, not guarded, but held hostage by those three. Well then. Everyone is here. Let's get started right away. Mm. I'm ready. Are you okay? Maggie, are you ready with the Electro Bomb? Hey. Who do, who do you think you're talking to? It's similar to a grenade, except for the detonation lags a bit after you push the switch. Once we roll this in front of the shutter, it should disable the alarm system. That's obvious. This won't fail. Hmm. The Electro Bomb has an effective range of 50 yards and lasts for two hours. If Kokichi's remote control is disabled, we'll stand a chance to get the Exosols. All right. Uh, let's stop Kokichi before he gets into uh, the Exosol. But be ready for the worst. Might have to use the Electro Hammers. Uh, if he gets into that Exosol, we'll have to stop him with his hammer. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. What's the matter? What's wrong, Mahiro? We're all ready to start, you know? That's true. Yeah. All right. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go into deadly life, aren't we? I, I, I just have this feeling right now. Then let's go. This has been a crazy chapter, though. I did not expect all these info dumps and changes to status quos. Maki drew the extra bomb, then rolled in from the shutter. And then. The alarm system is disabled. We can approach the control panel now. Suichi, will you do the honors? Leave it to me. All right, leave it to me. Uh, uh, uh okay. I have to walk over. Hey, uh, Maki, I know I'm delaying the plan, but how, how are you feeling? What are you waiting for? Hurry up and hit the panel with the electro hammer. Oh, yeah, that's a that's a fair point. It's a fair point. So this is not going to go the way I think it is, or they think it is. <laughs> All right, I, I hit the control panel with this. As I swung up the electro hammer, I suddenly noticed. Huh? huh? It's already. The control panel was covered in marks, as if damaged by something sharp. Huh? What are you trying to pull? Shuichi, what are you doing? Hurry up. Um. Okay. Sorry, I've got it. Just make a mental note of it. No time to think now. I aimed my swing at the control panel and brought it down as hard as I could. Yeah. Shit, I should have paid attention to that. But those marks there yesterday? I don't remember them being there. I wasn't looking at that. Oh my! The electric barrier turned off. Everyone, let's go. We all ran to the shutter at once. All right. We don't let Kokichi do whatever he wants anymore. Yeah. You better be ready. This is it. All right. 
Ravens to spare and to here and now. After opening the shutter, we burst into the hangar, electro hammers in hands. To end this. To end this killing game. And to end this despair. And what do we find? Yeah. Oh, that is Kaido's. What? What? <laughs> A body has been discovered. Everyone, please gather at the Exosol hangar. The killing game just keeps going and going! The despair's not over yet! I was actually more expecting Kohiji to be dead in here. Oh, shit. Voyage without passion or shit. I never finished reading that again. What is this? What's going on? That is an excellent question. An excellent question. Chaos and madness. Confusion and turmoil. I couldn't stay calm, I couldn't keep it in. It was just too much to spare. Yeah. What is that blood? It can't be. The discovery announcement, so that means someone's in that press. What? Uh, who? <laughs> the only one who comes in. The only ones in the hangar are Kokichi and Kaido. It must be one of them. Huh? What? The Kokichi or Kaido's dead? Oh, <gasps> uh, look! Yeah, the... Yeah. Huh? Those clothes. Yeah. They're... Kaido's. What did you say? Then the one in... The one in the hydraulic press is... Do we see Kokiji anywhere? No, it's not possible. <laughs> Looks like you have a lot of twists and turns to start out during the class trial. Extreme! That's what the killing game is about, after all. Now then. And so I will now pass out the Monokuma file. That's so, nice. uh, don't say you're getting bored of this, because things are about to get interesting. Now then. I hope you will pour your heart and soul into this investigation, too. Oh, fuck. What? Hold on. We have to investigate, so the killing game's going to continue. I mean, the killing game will continue. But the killing game is continuing, and Monokuma is still moving, and then... That's right. Means the mastermind Kokichi is still alive. Uh. Uh, if we assume he's the mastermind, yes. What was that? Kokichi is still alive, and that means the other, the one dead over there is... But wait, read it now! Damn it! I know. That's wrong. No, that's that's not possible. That has to be some mistake. There's no way Kaido could die. This has to be a lie. Technically, I made a run for the body when. Hey. Calm down. Maki's hand stopped me. Huh? Calm down. How can you say that Maki Kaido is? Well, I've seen so much death already. I thought both good and bad people. It doesn't bother me anymore. Wait! It doesn't bother you? What are you talking about? Oh, shut up. More importantly, where's Kokichi? It's true. Why? That is right. I don't see him anywhere. He should be somewhere in this hangar. Right? He ran away. We need to catch him immediately. He's so obviously the culprit. Indeed. I think he could have snuck through that uh, window. Might have been big enough. Let's split up and look for him. He is pretty small. Let's leave no stone unturned. Why, you? No matter how good did I say he is, can't let him get away with this. No. W wait, wait, wait. We can't leave yet. Uh, okay. Don't know if we're certain that dead body is Kaido. We haven't explored all the possibilities yet. What? If it's not Kaido, who's dead in there? Are you saying that it's Kokichi? 
Then why is the killing game still continuing? Let's explore all the possibilities. Shumichi's right. Why? And if Kaido's alive, why hasn't he shown himself yet? Mm -hmm. Are you saying he's hiding because he's the culprit? Stop it. Don't say such a stupid thing. Kaido being the culprit is even more impossible than him being dead. That's impossible! I don't think Kaido could have killed Kohichi in the first place. He was wounded, remember? Actually... And his opponent, the mastermind of the killing game, could control the axles at will. How could Kaido have killed someone like that when he was sick and wounded? We're gonna keep no. assuming Kikuchi was telling the truth. I still don't buy it. I don't know, it's... I just... I'm saying it's possible. And even if Kokichi was, uh, even if it is uh, Kokichi that was killed, does that mean Kaido's the culprit? But how? Does that mean that the culprit is one of us? Or he could have committed suicide. Stop it! Wait, that's impossible. Right. No matter how shocking Kaido's death is, saying response section is going too far. I understand that. I understand what they mean. The initial evidence suggests Kaido is dead. But I just can't believe that. Or perhaps I don't want to believe it. I can't believe Kaido is dead. Um, let's let's investigate. We need to find the truth here with our own hands and reveal that truth in trial. Don't tell me. So you want to continue the killing game? Because the last trial will be held either way. We should investigate. I don't know if we'll find hope or despair, but but we have to find the truth. And it all starts there. Right. It's the truth, and you're beyond it. Hmm. That's right. I have to do this. To keep my promise to Kaido. I understand. You're right. And the class trial is going to happen anyways, then we should investigate. <laughs> uh, but we already know the answer. But... Well, we can't die here. We decided to live for hope. But... My main concern is how Kokichi will react. If we accuse him of being the culprit, <laughs> if he just plays dumb and runs away, there'll be nothing we can do. But why would he kill Kaido? But... No, I don't think so. Jingo and Ashima crushed, uh, cherish the killing game rules. So if the Reminiscent Despairs, uh, worshipped her, I don't think they'd ignore those rules. Uh... Okay, I'm surprised we have so much knowledge of all that. Still, in so much detail. It'll be easy to deal with him. We just need to vote for him in the class trial. Yeah. That's true! I understand the others, but... My Maki... She... Why is she so... Accepting of Kaido's death. Well then. Oh well, then. Let's review the Monokuma file. Is that okay with you, Shuichi? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Nah. Not gonna tell us who's dead. Great. Okay. The body. Okay. So, if you're not gonna tell us it's Kaido or Kokichi, I'm not even gonna be convinced it's either of them. The body discovered in the Exile Hangar. If he really did worship Junko, I wonder if he's trying to pull the same trick. See if he can trick us with it. The victim was crushed by the hydraulic press and is unidentifiable. Monokuma 5 has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. <laughs> ah, that's it. That doesn't tell us anything. Uh, the identity of the victim is unknown. It doesn't even tell us that much. I don't care. It doesn't matter. We already know who the victim and culprit are. It's decided. The culprit is who killed. The culprit of Kyokaido is definitely Kokichi. No. Maki? Wait, Maki, it's still too early to decide that. The more you insist on that, the more suspicious you're going to be. Hmm. It's true that all the evidence points for Kokichi being alive, but... But... Kaido told me. Don't you worry. I'll do something all about all this. That's a promise. All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. So you're saying my conversation might have gotten him killed. <laughs> I want to believe in the promise Kaido made. I want you to believe in that with me. Stop it. I refuse to investigate with you. Huh? Huh? Why? You don't know? You're not calm at the moment. Right now you're acting like Kaido. Back in Gonta's class trial. No, I'm perfectly fine. You're the one acting like Kaido. <sighs> it was like this at that time too, wasn't it? You can't fight despair with just belief. It's not that simple. I'm not believing in shit. I'm just reviewing. I'm not doing anything like that, Maki. You're obviously emotionally compromised at the moment. Oh my. Maki turned it back to me and left. Maki? Um. Something 
about the air in here that's making me feel off. I don't know if the electro bomb is to blame, or if I'm malfunctioning somehow. But I'm starting to feel somewhat sick. What? I don't feel weird at all. Then it's gotta be because of the electro bomb. He was an electric appliance after all. <laughs> don't call me an appliance. Okay. I'm telling you, appliances should go rest outside. <laughs> really, I'm fine, but I suppose I'll go investigate outside now. So this thing is supposed to stop if anything human was in it. Or if anything living was in it. Wouldn't that imply that whoever it was was killed and then thrown into it and then smashed to make it unidentifiable? Hmm. Sort of reminding me of the first game's chapter 5, eh? Kibo left the hangar, swaying side to side a bit. Hmm. Then I think I'll start investigating too. Huh? Oh, will you be okay by yourself? I can go with you if you want. No. No, you don't have to worry. I'll be fine by myself. If the body's like that, you don't have to worry about anyone messing with it. So it should be fine for us to investigate by ourselves. What did the monarch in the file say exactly? Uh, crushed by a hydraulic press. Doesn't say he was killed by it. Here we go left in a hurry. I wonder if Himiko suspects... Huh? Suspects who? Um... Everyone. Because if there's fewer of us, there's fewer people who could be the culprit, right? Of course, it's obviously Kokichi, but like you said, there could be another possibility. Maybe that's what she's thinking. I did suggest that possibility. The culprit might not be Kaido or Kikichi. What a third party. Anyone could be the culprit. Seems like... We were united towards hope before all of it. We were united, uh... Towards hope before all this, but now we're split up. Could it be? Could it be? That's why Kukichi killed Kaido. Huh? To disrupt our harmony. Um. Because if not, then what reason would he have to kill Kaido? Maybe that's what this class trial is going to be for too. The reason Kukichi's going to hold this class trial might be to separate us. To separate us. Like I thought. In the end, we're all gathered around Kaido. He's the one keeping us together. If that's why he killed Kaido, then we're completely caught in his trap. Hmm. This is all part of Kokichi's plan to separate us. This is exactly what he wanted. We're split up. I can't get, uh, get anyone to cooperate with the investigation. And we don't have much information to go on. Monokuma file has been some help, but it's not enough this time. But no point standing around complaining. I just have to do it. Time to start. To solve this mystery. And find the truth behind it. I'm going to begin this investigation. There's always a good one that they start up in Chapter 5. Okay, well then, I think I'm going to end it there for today. I think I probably regret about two episodes worth. I'm not sure exactly how much I'm going to get out from all the love uh, key stuff, but that is what it is. Oh, I have a bit recorded. I'm going to have a lot of editing to do between this and other series at the moment, so I should probably go to that. Oh, this is... I really love the one in the second game. The investigation theme. Shit, they always do a good one at the chapter 5. Okay, well, I will leave it there, and I'll see you all next time. Try and safely, everyone.